Hello, today we're going to look at the correct way to use sitemaps in Leica Register 360 and what they offer. We will be heading out to a three-story parking garage for our test project. Please understand that we're focusing on the sitemap portion of this and not the whole job, so to speak. This is a photo of a corner of the parking garage that we'll be focusing on. The challenge is when using Field 360 on a tablet. The app likes to work in plan view. This can make it difficult to tell if your setups are on the first floor or the second floor and therefore hard to do the linking or the creation of the network. So ultimately the solution is use a project, separate projects, for each floor of the project. Bring them all into Register 360 and then use sitemap linking to finish. The following will walk you step by step through the process. To show you the overview, we're going to do a few setups on the first floor then go up the stairs, creating a, a new project along the way, and then doing the second floor on a separate project and then bringing them in. Let's take a look at the scan locations. Here we are taking a look at the first floor and we've got uh, the first setup, the second setup, third setup, all on the first floor project. On the stairway itself, we're going to do uh, setup three and setup four and continue that on floor one. It doesn't really matter what you do or where you separate these, but I just suggest that you do it consistently and everyone in your firm does it the same way. Then when we get up to the second floor and set up location five, that is where we're going to start the second project for the second floor uh, prior to starting that scan. After we finish five, we'll finish up the second floor by doing six and seven. And again, we're not doing the whole project, just focusing on the stairs and the learning of how to deal with sitemaps. We love feedback, so please help us out and like the video. Subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, or share with a friend. Sterling Systems is an authorized Leica scanning reseller, so if you have any questions, need a demo, or need to renew your software, please reach out. Now that we've completed the field work, we're going to download the data right from the iPad in Field 360 right to Register 360. And then I'll go ahead and complete the individual registrations for both the projects and then we'll start from there. Now that we've got both our projects imported, they go on different site maps on the left hand side, Park 1 and Park 2. Park 1's got setups 1 through 4 and Park 2 has 5 through 7. So let's go ahead and take a look at it. We're looking at the first floor and you can see that it's the setups one through four, including the fourth, which is at the midpoint of the stairs. And if we go over to the second floor, same situation, we'll take a look at it. Now this is segments or uh, scans five, six, and seven. And what we need to do is we need to introduce the fifth scan at the top of the stairs into the first floor project and that's what we'll do now we're just going to open that up or select it and then drag it from two into one and it knows what's happening that's why the grayed out um, is there but now we have access and the ability to go ahead and create a link between four and five. Now that we've introduced five into the first floor project, we can select our two setups, four and five, and then hit visual alignment. We can now say join and optimize, and there is our connection. And then what we want to do is uh, optimize the bundle overall now, uh, verify our error, and then let's take a look at what we did. So now when we bundle cloud 
view, it shows all seven setups. And we would just export as normal.